Hi all and welcome back to the Let's Play of Sea of Stars. We are in the middle of a boss battle, so I will only say that we are about to hopefully press on with the adventure.
of Dread. View! Dweller of Dread. We just took down a dweller, no eclipse. This power, I didn't doubt for a moment that we could do it. Same, I feel so much stronger. That thing we did when Garl was hit by the curse, I feel I can control it now. It's been growing within me too ever since, I think we're ready. The moon then. Together. Unbelievable. are gone too. Artifice. Teamwork. Nothing like it. With their true power unleashed, Valer and Sail cannot fly on the world map. Move around with left stick and then press A to lift off or land on clear surfaces. You can also explore previously inaccessible areas. When you feel ready, the Fleshmancer's castle awaits for the final confrontation. Solstice Shrine.
found one celestial ray. Maya's Secret Passage Sealed by Mysterious Fortress Free to rest at the fireplace. Did you need anything from my storage? at the end. Is something troubling you? Um, there's another potential threat to my people, one I'm not sure I can handle on my own. What is it? Um, the queen that was. We've been mapping the Cerulean Expanse for a long time, but it feels like we'll never find her. If he gets the jump on Repine, Beast, a gruesome thought indeed. Is there any lead we could follow? It's a long shot, but a pro brought this back from one of the search parties. Got Joseph's belt buckle. I was hoping we could give it to Teeks and see what we can learn. If we have the time, of course. It's worth a shot, at least. I've been thinking about the solstice shrines. Might be worth finding the remaining ones. Valer, a word if I may. Of course, what's up? Ever since the great alchemist granted me this form, I have been eager to prove myself a true warrior. For what's it's worth, you've definitely been pulling your weight and then some. I appreciate the thought, brave monk, but I desire something more official. Like what? During my time on your homeworld, I heard a rumor about a place where fighters engage in friendly competition. Dwellers fall arena and brisk. According to Yolan, the town's people built it to reclaim the big crater left by the Dweller of Strife. Sounds like it could be fun. 
Valer, I know we are pressed for time, but if there is any chance we could visit the Arena in Brisk, I would be very grateful. Huh? Sean's puppet points at something on the map. Great alchemist, are you trying to tell us something? Perhaps you investigate the location. Oh! You found a new artifact. Let's see here. New story unlocked. The Cerulean Expedition. Hey, want to hear a story? Yes. The Cerulean Expedition. This one is special. It's an adventurous log. Might want to take some notes. Joseph's log, Cerulean Expedition Day 1. I wasn't expecting to feel fear so early on. To think we might just happen upon her, the queen that was. Still, she needs to be found, lest she get the jump on Repine. Repine. Even the sunken moon knows we've suffered enough from her betrayal as it is. Three teams we are. The other two are led by Broku and Elmi. Plan goes like this. Each team has a series of four directions to explore. Four directions, four days after which we backtrack for another four and compare notes. Broku's team is trying northeast, southeast, south, then, then northwest. Elvis' team is going southwest, south, southwest, then east. As for my team, we're doing north, east, northeast, then south. Joseph Slog, Cerulean Expedition Day 9. Well, I'll be damned. It was obvious once I took a second look at the notes. Broku said it felt right for the first two days, but then something was amiss. Elvis recounted feeling lost the whole time, save for day 4, where everyone had more spring in their step. As for me, I was right. Day 3 was truly special. That speedball ought to lead to her throne, but it lost power like all the others, so there ain't no way forward. And seeing as I lost my entire team getting here, so there ain't a way back either. That's it for me, I guess. If you're reading this, you must have found my belongings. Well then, let me know. Joyce was here. Joyce was here. The end. I think this might just be the place where I end off this for now. See you in the next one. Thank you all for following along in my Sea of Stars adventure. I hope you're having as much fun as I am. If you are, I would love it if you hit those like, subscribe buttons and if I saw you again in the next video. But for now, it is time to say bye bye.